we're going to make raisin cinnamon bagels. I'm going to go ahead and give you actually the recipe uh, because I actually made this in my uh, bread maker, actually on the dough cycle. But you're going to need one and a quarter cups of water, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, you're going to need two tablespoons of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of cinnamon, and three and one-third cups of bread flour, and two teaspoons of active dry yeast. Now you can make this recipe by hand if you want, it's up to you, but I prefer to make it in the uh, dough cycle, uh, it seems easier for me. I'm going to put some flour on my countertop here, and as you see, I just took it this out of my uh, machine, oh, well, about 10 minutes or so, so I'm just going to uh, take that uh, dough right out of there. And um, just move this on the flour. Now what I like to do actually is to measure my bagel. So I use a little uh, kitchen scale. And I, I make them usually about three and a half, um, about no, well, three, three and a half. Um, I don't want them too, too large. That's just about perfect. So about three and a half ounces. I'm going to put this aside at the moment. Again, I wanted to show you how pretty that uh, raisin cinnamon uh, uh, dough came out. And once you have your three and a half ounces, or if you want to make them smaller, it's up to you. I like to make them larger. All you really have to do is just take the dough, and what I try to do is I actually just pinch it all together in the center of the uh, bagel, like that. I bring it all together into one little, little point, or in the center, like that. And then I like to just push that through with my finger to the other side. And then basically I just roll it almost like I'm turning it inside out till I get the shape that I want. And then just stretch, stretch it out a little bit, that type of thing. And that's what they're going to look like. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put them on a, actually a greased uh, cookie sheet and you're going to wait till they actually raise till they're double in size. So I'm going to put that one down here for the moment. And I'm going to show you what they do look like once you uh, have raised them. And you can s clearly see how much bigger that they became from when you first shaped them and then let them rise. And that takes usually about an hour or an hour and a half depending on your kitchen. Now once you do that and they've doubled in size, then you're going to need to put a um, pot of hot water on your stove and allow it to start boiling. I'm going to turn my light on here so I can see. You're going to need some type of a slotted spoon to work with and you're going to need a timer because you want to be able to uh, uh, actually um, boil these bagels for anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute on each side. Because um, I like particularly a larger bagel, I like to actually do it a minute on each side. If they're smaller, 30 seconds will do it. Once your water ha has started to boil, then just take your bagel, and I put the uh, top side down first. Now you don't want to overcrowd your uh, bagel, so I'm just going to be doing three at a time. And then I like to set the timer. or what I need it for, and set it. Now once it starts boiling, just don't do anything to it. All you have to do is wait for your timer to go off. I'm going to do these quicker because of the video, so I'll probably like do them for about 30 seconds or so. But generally when they're this large, I do like to uh, actually boil them, boil them for a minute. Oh, 
Okay. And what I'm going to do is now I'm just going to flip them over and then set my timer again, depending what you want to do, 30 seconds or um, a minute on each side. That's going to be up to you. So I'm going to set mine for 30 seconds. And again, there's really nothing to do but let them boil in that water. And remember, don't overcrowd. Now, you're also going to need some type of a rack because you'll want to take the wet bagels and let them dry a little bit. So you will need some type of uh, a cooling rack works really, uh, really great. Okay, uh, 30 seconds was up. As you can see, it's really at a ro uh, rolling boil here. So I'm just going to give it just a few more seconds here in the water. As you can see, it's really going well. The water is really boiling. Okay, I think that's perfect. And then just take those wet bagels and put them on your cooling rack. You don't have to wait till they're cool, but you do want them to dry off a bit. And I'm going to put that hot water over to the side. Now, and just again, like I said, let them drain. Now what you're going to do is once that they've drained, you're going to need a cookie sheet or baking sheet that's heavily greased with a solid shortening of some kind. And for the video purpose, I'm going to move this along a little bit. Just put the bagel on your tray. Once again, they have drained. And I like to take actually an egg wash and just paint that. Or you can use an egg white if you prefer. And then I will put them in the oven at 400 degrees, anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes. So start checking them around uh, 20 minutes or so, because as we know, all ovens set up differently. And they'll turn out to be a nice, pretty golden brown when they come out of the oven. I have some to show you, and here we go. You have your own homemade raisin cinnamon bagels. They really come out beautiful. You can make whatever size you want. The large ones, sometimes I get 9 to 10. You can get much more if you make them smaller. These were 3 and a half ounces a piece. Give the recipe a try. I hope you like this one. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.